this is just great idol right here. You don't even understand. Like this is perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what I was hoping to get. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she anything but calm. Legs were pint size. I had a bomb. Had a bomb, baby. Had a bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Had a bomb, baby. Had a bomb. I want her in my wigwam. Are there dogs in Starfield? Where did this come from? Why did I come up with this out of nowhere? Well, it's not exactly out of nowhere. Considering that you can have animal companions in one of Bethesda's other IPs, Fallout, obviously there's dog meat uh, that's a dog companion that will travel with you on your journeys throughout the wasteland. And I saw something on Starfield's Facebook page. They do have some interesting posts, some interesting updates here that I wanted to bring to your attention because it made me think, it made me ask the question, will there be animals, like animal companions or pets in Starfield? Uh, if you scroll down in their page here, you can see this shirt design. It says Barkfield. <laughs> it's made up of dogs or puppies instead of humans, obviously. Uh, but basically, it's for QuakeCon and supporting the Dallas Pets Alive program here. It's a nonprofit organization based out of Dallas, Texas, I'm assuming. Um, and they made these cool shirt designs for this nonprofit organization that replaces all the human members of the classic Starfield poster design with dogs. And, uh, you know, for a second I had a thought like, oh, I wonder if that's some kind of clue that there's going to be pets or animal companions or dogs in Starfield. But I didn't want to think that hard into it because they've done other similar t-shirt designs for games like Redfall. Uh, they called it Red Paul, I believe. Um, and another one for another one of their IPs. But, uh... I started thinking, you know, I wonder if there is going to be dogs. Like, if there's going to be sort of like a dog meat moment, you know, in Starfield where you come across this animal, wherever it may be. I'm assuming it's not going to be on, like, a hostile planet with a harsh environment because obviously dogs can't survive there. I mean, there's always the possibility you could put a space helmet on a dog, like here in this picture, but uh, I don't think that's going to be very likely in a grounded space simulation type game like Starfield. So, I thought about other instances where we were shown that animals could be in the game, or could possibly be a companion in Starfield. And I remember there was a concept art a while back that I had all but forgotten about, that was showing us sort of the atmosphere, the environment, the kind of realism and grounded kind of settings that a lot of this game will take place in. Uh, let me pull it up real quick, let's see. Starfield concept art should be able to find it in here uh, if you type that in and scroll around I mean there's probably a better way to find it but uh let's see this was the part of the picture here okay here it is here it is right here this picture now if you look this picture was referenced when Bethesda was talking about how do these people live? What does their environment look like? What are, what are the things that their children play with? Their entertainment? Their their living situation? And you can see there's a cat down to the right side of this man that seems to be following him around. And, uh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, it's not a dog, and we haven't really seen dogs in the Starfield gameplay, but does that mean that there will be pets like dogs that we can have? Um, they probably would be more likely to be in certain situations at outposts on your ship maybe or back on earth or planets that are sort of like Goldilocks planets where the environments are very similar to earth um, but that just kinda raised that question for me I wonder if, you know because I've done a video on companions before but uh, I didn't mention pets or animals but now I'm curious you know after seeing that Barkfield t-shirt uh, if there's going to be canine companions um, will they travel with you? Will they assist you? Will they be relevant to the story whatsoever? I mean, I know that's kind of an afterthought for a lot of people. 
you know, to think about pets and animals in space because it's harsh enough for humans to travel into space and colonize these planets and, uh, you know, exist in, in space, essentially. Um, but yeah, that, that's something I kind of failed to, to really think about and I thought it would be pretty interesting if they did do something with that. Uh, we already know that there's certainly going to be several companions in the game, including Vasco. Uh, you can see in this picture again, there's a robot with like a kid's doll draped over the back of it and a cowboy hat on top, you know, and it's just repairing some kind of electrical panel to the side of the ship over there. Um, so it's very possible that there's going to be human companions, robot companions, and animal companions. Um, maybe there's even a way to tame animals or create somewhat of a farm for these animals and put them at your outpost and study them. I mean, I know that's kind of crazy. That almost sounds like Slime Rancher mixed with some kind of science simulator thing, but uh, I'm just saying with all that you can do in this game, I would not be surprised. You know, with your scanner as far as studying the alien life, the flora and fauna, if you could actually capture, tame, you know, create some kind of environment or, or research center for certain animals. I don't think that would be outside the scope of what's what you're capable of doing in Starfield. So, I mean, do I think that you're going to be roaming, you know, alien planets with a dog at your side or whatever? No, uh, I don't know if that's going to be feasible to any degree. Like I said, depending on what planet it is, and just the fact that a lot of these planets require you to to have a CO2 tank and an enclosed suit with a helmet and all that to be breathable, I doubt that that you're going to be like taking animals with you. But I do think that there, there might be parts of the game where where animals will be present and that you can interact with with dogs and cats. Uh, I mean, I'm almost sure at this point after thinking about it. Uh, but I just I just wonder if there's going to be any any certain planets or places in the game where animals, especially dogs, will end up being companions. And what would Starfield's version of dog meat look like necessarily? You know, I know one of the big selling points for Bethesda games is is the companion system and you know I'm sure they've probably gotten even more complex with it in this game so who knows what we can expect uh, Fallout 4 was pretty interesting as far as its companions uh, ranging from mutants and and robots to humans and animals you know so I wonder if Starfield is gonna keep with that sort of theme that sort of history when it comes to Starfield Alright you guys, that's all I've got for today, but hang in there, I've got a very fun and special video coming soon that's more on the side of entertainment than information, if you know what I mean. So look forward to that one soon. Also, go check out my other content, and if you enjoy it, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that small little button that says subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Come on and be a NASA punk, and help me boost all things punk, sci-fi, and space exploration in the algorithm. Thanks again for watching. See you next time as we look forward to the future.